Welcome, 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 we welcome you on CAR TV. Yes, everything is wonderful, everything is glorious, everything is super macondovious. I'm Swanis Busisomsome, I'm together with uh, Dr. Tabisila Otrumsom. Yeah, that is the intro to say. Come on, man, don't become his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm his wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is my girlfriend, yeah. this is my friend, this yeah. is my co-worker, this is my everything. Amen. Life coach. <laughs> Not to a bar, yeah, I'm his life coach. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a life coach, not my life coach. <laughs> She's a life his coach, wife. she can coach you into life. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And also so to know that you are being encouraged. There's nothing that uh, excites us than to know when we get testimonies. I'm still standing because of what you are sharing. My life has a purpose because I always see you. I always hear you. So we are so excited. That is why we are here. We are here for you. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. in the book. You know. When we are happy, we have no reason to be happy. We are always happy. Amen, amen. And that's not funny too. No, Kubega. What are you going to say? Apocalyptic. The Kuluma Gabaho, four horsemen. Our guess is... Uh, his <laughs> father, his biological father. My daddy. Mm -hmm. Sing his own. Sing it. My father. My <laughs> father. <laughs> that um, yeah. That um, mm -hmm. yeah. No, o, 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, Osfundi Sange Apocalyptic. Today, it's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. And I know you're going to be blessed. Yes. So day number two. Day number two. You were happy. Mm -hmm. Wow, we are happy. We yeah. are Even when you was preaching this, we were happy. Yeah, yeah. A man full of prayer. We are now in the the thunder Zion. Yeah. Tisha woke up. Woke up. Tisha, a man, a prophet of African prophet. Mm. Ah, it's Africa. You are blessed, Africa. Amen. You have a genuine prophet of God. Mm. I'm telling you. So is well when we are really so what is so easy on Namplan. Yes. So Namplanje is still part two of introduction, uh, but Namplanje Babu be kuluma about uh, her, the the story that we know when uh, Judas betrayed Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and also he talks about what the devil has come here on earth to trouble the church. He's not going to trouble his own people, but he's going to trouble the church. And also he encourages us to say, let us prepare ourselves for these times. Mm -hmm. And also he talks about what say, the Satan uses human beings to fulfill his will, his will. Yes. And that the enemy will always go oppose the gospel and the word of God. Mm -hmm. Now there is something that he highlights, what he Let's get our hard copies of the Bible yeah. because there is a time where this electronic one is where she is doing this catalogy. They are going to edit and remove Kukoni proposal. Genesis should be removed, Revelation should be removed, and then Xari Logo partnering down. And there are so many verses about Sebawa Kipi. The corner already has a Kishu among verses. Yeah. And the Bible has all a data series. And corner bank about Tengili Bible. Abang Asibo Nama Christ. Got about Tengili and Malaysia. Yes. So that's a banning Bazo to be said. Yeah. So now let's hear what Bishop Esfim saw me. Has to say. When you graduate, like eschatology, apocalyptic, you graduate, you will be a fundi. Blessings of the thing. So, God bless you. As I'm going to say again about Bishop. Amen. Let's go to John 13. I see an ending at Johan. Verse 19 to 31. Bishop John 13. Verse 19 to 31. But let's, let's emphasize verse 21. I guess the leg of cool look verse 21. Is that the town of Babylon? Okay, right, it's gone. All right. John chapter 13, verse 21. Johan in Mati, chapter 13. Have you opened it? Gabesen Vulin. Let's go. Asamben. Did I say verse 21? Gabin tell verse 21. Right. Amen. 
It reads like this. When Jesus has said that, has thus said, he was troubled in the spirit and testified and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Jesus Christ has just washed their feet. And then he says, now you are clean. But not, of all, not all of you are clean. One of you is going to betray me. In the church of Jesus Christ. There is a man who is of the seed of Cain. Cain killed his brother. Judas kissed Jesus and betrayed him. Let me just tell you something. I know you're going to like this one. Judah was there when they were casting out demons. Judas was there when they laid hands upon the sick and they were healed. Hey, Judas was there when Jesus Christ uh, uh, broke bread and gave it to 5,000 people. He was there when they came back and said, Lord, even the demons are listening to us. But did you see, did you hear that but he was just going to kiss Jesus with one kiss and send him to his death. What I'm trying to say is that the devil is not going to go and worry his angoma. The devil is not going to infiltrate those who do not believe in Jesus. But the devil is going to infiltrate you as he had followed Eve as the first wife of Adam the devil is going to follow you as the wife of Jesus Christ so you guys should wake up and be able to discern that you should be a church or be a bride with no wrinkles with no blemishes because the devil comes in here to give you blemishes and wrinkles do, do you understand? So in other words, your antennas should be very high. Check everything. Like the Berean Christians. When Paul preached, they went home. They checked what he was saying. If it was true, check what I say. If it is not true, don't believe me. But I'm telling you, the devil is not going to visit his uncle. The devil is going to visit him because he wants to make you with blemishes. He wants, he wants your husband Jesus Christ to reject you as his wife. But prepare yourself for he is coming back. The trump is going to cry. He's going to sound. If you are not careful you will be left behind. For you must prepare yourself no one will prepare you. You prepare 
You must think for yourself. We know the gospel is by grace. But you don't just live anyhow. You follow the, 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 the teachings of Christ. And There is nothing like one safe always saved. You better be careful. Because the devil is here. Okay. Then Come on, slow up. Right. One of you is going to betray me. T.D. Jakes once said this. I don't forget this one. He says, if you've got 12 members in your church, you've got one Judas. Once you have 24, then you have two Judas. Once you have 36, now there are three Judas. So the more the church grows, the more the number of the Judas is. No Judas by I'll never forget what T.D. Jake said. Hallelujah. Let's read verse 25 and 27. As verse 25 to 27. You see, this is the history of the devil. Do you see how he walks? How he moves? Now, he doesn't walk like he's got feet now. He walks down. Eh? He glides. You never know he's in the house. Because he, he can go right under your bed. You, you could sleep in your bed and be saved and think you are saved. But he's coiled himself under your bed. He may call himself in your car. He's too dangerous now without his feet. Because when he moves, he moves right under your feet. Have you opened that verse? Jesus answered, hey, this is good. Jesus answered, it's he to whom I shall give a piece of bread when I have dipped it. Jesus is another person. They ask him, who is going to betray you? He takes bread. You know, bread stands for the word. He dips it, I don't know whether in the soup or in what. He gives it to Judas. Let me tell you something. The very person who is going to kill you. Feed him. Give him the best bread. Because this is the last time he's going to have bread. Because he's going to hell. There is no bread in hell. So feed your enemies. If they, if they are thirsty, give them water. For this is the last time they will drink water. When they get to hell, they'll say, Abraham, Abraham, send Lazarus to give me a glass of water. For this place is very hot. And Abraham will say, There is no way I can give you water now. You should have drank water while you were on earth. So feed your enemies. It's the one that I'm going to dip bread and give it to him. Wouldn't you be happy if Jesus was just going to break bread and give it to you? 
Directly from Jesus. I would write it on my diary. And next year I will transcribe it to the next year's diary. And the following year I will transcribe it to the next diary. Until I die. But this guy, it was his last day of bread. I want to tell you something. Even if the devil can infiltrate us, his servants will end up hanging on a tree. Can I repeat that? Fight the church of Christ you will end up hanging on a tree. There, there is a preacher who preached a very beautiful sermon. He said quite a number of people preach about three, three crosses. But there were four crosses. Do you want to know? Do you know the fourth one? Yes, yes. Do you know it? Okay, I won't waste my time because you know it. And says, Don't you know it? <laughs> All right. Now, there, there is the fourth one. Where is the tree? The tree is this side. This is not meant to you, brother. There is, uh, there is the other criminal. He's hanging on the cross. And here Jesus Christ is hanging. And there is another criminal. So there are three people hanging on the cross. The cross is made of trees. Now, there is this guy who kissed Jesus. He runs to a tree. He hangs himself on a tree. There are three official crosses. This one nobody knows about. Judah is hanging on a cross. Now when these two, this guy says, save yourself and save, and, and save us. This one says, Jesus, when you get into your kingdom, be with me. Jesus says, before the end of the day, I'll be with you in paradise. Jesus dies. This guy dies. This guy dies. That guy dies. These two go up to heaven. These two go down to hell. So that is why I said there were four crosses. The, four, the fourth cross was the cross of, of Judas. Please do yourself a favor. Don't join the devil. Don't join the devil. Don't join the devil. For you will follow those that will go to hell. Okay, let's come back to the story. Maybe let me just explain this. The devil does not have a body. He does not have a body. So many things he cannot do on this earth. So if he wants to do something, he will find somebody with the heart of Judas. Ah. Let's read. As funde. And having dipped the bread, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. Now, after the piece of bread, Satan entered him. 
What did Satan do? Satan entered him. Can you differentiate when you are in church and Satan has entered you? Okay, let's, let's clear the scenario. There is the Lord sitting 12 apostles here. This is the highest government of God on earth. But somebody in the assembly of Jesus has opened his heart to be entered by the devil. Now can I, can I, can I just use this to, to tell you about tomorrow? The devil will never is not able to ride a horse. It's a human being that can ride a horse. So if the devil wants to ride a horse, he gets into a human being. And the human being will go into the horse. And then the devil will ride with the man. I just pray don't be don't be a carrier of the devil. It's so beautiful when the Holy Spirit is moving. But don't spoil it. I don't know what time it is. I'm going to tell you what. Now, let me just read this. Satan does not have a physical body. I've just said that. And it was night. Okay, thank you very much. It was night. The devil always woke in the night. You know, when they heard that, it, it, it was in the night. Trying to be good, yeah? Let's go to 1 John chapter 2, verse 18 and 22. I've got, only, I've got only 30 minutes now. Let's go. But I'm sure you, you, you did understand my introduction. John chapter, 1 John, 1 John, 1 John. Yes, oh, Johanna Bangan. Have you opened there? Let me read there. Again, uh, John chapter 2 and verse 18. Verse 18 reads like this. For when they speak great swelling words. Am I? I'm reading in Peter. I'm sorry. I said 1 John chapter 2 and verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. As you have heard that the Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. Bandonyana, segu is cut so good dinner. Jenga logo nezwa, ugutum pigu Christu yeza. Naga logo segu ko, naba pigu Christu abaning, galoko, se yaz, ugutu segu is cut so good the Antichrist is coming. Um pigu Christu yeza. But there are many antichrists now. Would you read that again in Isuzul? Bandwanyana, sewi is cut so good dinner. Jenga logo nezwa, ugutum pigu Christu yeza. Naga loku, segu konaba pigu Christu, abaningi. Galoko si yazi, uguti, sewi is cut so good dinner. So let's, let, let's, let, let's listen to this. Asla lilin lok. We know that the Antichrist is coming. But already there are Antichrist in our midst. I wish you could understand that. You see, this big one they say is coming at the end of the time. He has not yet come. 
But there are many small antichrists amongst us. What's the meaning of the word antichrist? The word anti oh, before I say that, remind me. I say that. There are Bibles now which say there are many enemies of Christ. That's a wrong interpretation. It is the anti-Christ. Not enemy of Christ. Because the enemy will always fight. But the antichrist has got many, many ways of, 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 of destroying the church. The first interpretation of antichrist it means you are against Christ. In other words, wherever Christ is, whatever Christ says, you oppose it. But the second meaning of Antichrist, it says that you are in the place of Christ. In other words, you are not an enemy of Christ. All you say is that Christ is in heaven now. But now I am here. I am the vicar of Christ. While Christ was on the earth, he forgave sins. Now Christ is gone. I forgive sins. You are in the place of Christ. Listen to me. Christ on earth forgave sins. Christ is in heaven. He still forgives sins. There is no human being that can take away your sins. No matter how big a church he has, there is only one mediator between God and man. Any man who tells you that he can forgive your sins is an antichrist. Some antichrist will tell you this. If you don't belong to this church, you are going to hell. Baba, that's an antichrist. That's the spirit of the antichrist. Because he changes his organization. He says it is the only organization. I don't know whether you understand me. Do you understand? So, most of most of the antichrists today they stand in the place of Christ. Let me explain. I and Christ are one. But I stand only to save black people. Because Christ was saving white people. So this black Christ is taking the place of Christ from heaven. He is the Antichrist. He should not 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 one person. Agakfanele atiba umuntu mune. Ni ni understand? Do you understand? Ni understand? Ni angesu. Even today, gishona namisange. The antichrists are growing in in exponential form. Yasazi singesu yasazi. Abam pigi Christo ba kulange zinga elkijimaga kulu. Yes. Every corner in South Africa, there is a new antichrist rising. They are scared of one thing. 
to go to the cross and die. Because if they go to, cro to the cross and die, they will never rise. Do, do, do you understand that? You wanna, you wanna call yourself Christ? We will make a cross. We will put you there. We'll kill you. We will wait for three days. See if you rise. If you don't rise, then you are not Christ. see you Christ. So you need to, you, we need to open our eyes. Because he's, he's moving like a snake right in the do, do you understand that? There's only one, only one son of God. I love him, I love him with, uh, with, 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 with jealousy, you know? I, I always quote what David said. David said, I hate your enemies with perfect hatred. I hate anything that says it's Christ. Because there's only one Christ on earth. Let's go. Where are we? Verse 22. Did we read 18? Let's go to 22. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus Christ is Jesus is the Christ. He is the Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Let me just tell you. <laughs> Will you be able to take these things, eh? Some people say Jesus cannot be God. Because there is a God. The Father is God. How can the Son be God when the Father is God? If you deny the Father and the Son, you are the Antichrist. You know why they say Jesus cannot be God? They think the word God is a position. You understand that? They think, they think when you say the Father is God, He's like a king sitting on a throne. No. God is not a position. God, like, like I'm a human being. It's not a position. Is it a position? My son is a human being. Is it a position? I'm a man. He's a man. Jesus, the father is God. The son is God. Because it's not position. It's the material is made of. He is made of the material of God. Do you understand that? Then they become antichrist because they think it is a position. It's not. He was born God. He's the God. He will always be God. He was born God. Whether he is in a body, whether he is in spirit, he is still God. Whether he hangs on the cross, he is still God. It's not a position. It's the material is made of. Understand? Okay, let's go. We will catch the devil tomorrow. We will catch the devil. If I was the devil, I would run away. I wouldn't dare come here tomorrow. Chapter 4, right? Verse 3, what does he say? And every spirit that confesseth that not that Jesus Christ 
uh, is come in the flesh is not of God, and this is the spirit of of the Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. Lo moyo ngavumu Jesu, ongamvumu Jesu, agasi yogangulungul, lo wa ungo umpiku Kristu, eni zwenga ye ugutu ye zanaga lo gusefigi lezweni. This 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 was written two thousand years ago. Logo ka palang nga pambile mnyagi na yam e ingulonga nembile shul. John says the spirit is already there. Uche sukuti umoya usukona. Do you think the spirit has run away? Ngabo kabangu tlo moya subalegi. The spirit is still here. Lo moya sakona. Be vigilant. Kapel. Watch. Let's go. I'm going to end here. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. This is kind of scary, right? Don't be afraid. Eh? Verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of petition, who opposed the exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he, as God, seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Would you read that? Magunga bi komundo on kosi sayo, nanga ipinde languguba aligu figa. Okay. Now we are nearing towards the end. Manje says Sondeling as he rises up. Eh? He stand up. He stands up against all preachers of the word of God. Tomorrow we will talk about the spirit of Jezebel. Anything that the apostles of Christ say. He will fight them. He will kill them. He will destroy this. this. He will destroy the word of God. I've just heard that there is a new Bible coming. This is just hearsay. They say the book of Genesis they will take away. And the book of Revelation will be taken away. Because the first book tells us how the devil how, how the devil originated. The last, the last book tells us how the devil is going to be defeated. So the head must be taken away. The, 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 the conclusion or, or the tail must be taken away. And then we only talk about what is in the middle. It's like removing the alpha and removing the omega. Because we know from Genesis that the first things, what happened? And from the book of Revelation, we know how he's going to be defeated. So next time you buy a Bible, just check if these two books are there. Tell even your children if it happens when you are dead, if the book of Genesis is not there, don't buy that Bible. Rather hide this one you have. Keep it for your children so that they will know where the devil came from. So that they will know how the devil will die. So please, 
Even check this thing that says enemies that takes away the word antichrist. Cancel enemy of Christ and put antichrist. So that when we explain who the antichrist is, you will understand. Because most of the antichrist, they preach Christ. But they say he's in heaven. Can I tell you something that I read over over internet? It's on it's it's it's, it's in, on public dis, what they call it public domain. Let me just tell you. I guess Right. Giorgio Salvadori. He, that's the name of a person. <laughs> Giorgio <laughs> Salvadori, the spokesperson of the Vatican, um, um, is yes, said, What? W, it's WW News. WW News said, What? By the look of things, we don't think Jesus Christ is coming back. We think he's busy doing some good works somewhere. And by the way, Jesus Christ made wine out of water. So he must have made this promise of coming back under the influence of wine. He must have forgotten those things. Sometimes we make promises under intoxication and we forget. That's a quotation by Giorgio Salvadori, spokesperson of the, of the Vatican. W W News. Now send to why are you quiet? Right. There would be a falling away first. Before this man, Ibonagad. Becomes evident. His name is the son of perdition. I also remember that Jesus, when he was praying, he said, I didn't lose anybody amongst those you gave me except the son of perdition. So Judas was the son of perdition. He opposes and exalts himself all that is called God or that is worshipped. He sits in the temple of God and shows himself to be God. So when you look for the Antichrist, start here. Start in the church. Don't start outside. He wants to sit in the church. But fear not. The son of God is in control. The son of God is in control. His spirit was already working in, the, in, the Paul, in Paul's day. There is someone who is stopping him from appearing. Do you know who that person is? Do you know who that person is? It is the Holy Spirit. In you. If I were you, would applaud for myself. 
Because the mere fact that you allow the Holy Spirit to indwell you, this Antichrist spirit is afraid to come out in the open. If he starts working, he, he grabs the Bible and uses it. Because he cannot come out and stand all alone and challenge Jesus Christ. Do you remember what happened to the false prophets who, who challenged uh, Elijah? There was only one Elijah and there were 850 false prophets. But one man of God was able to destroy 850 false prophets. Do you understand that? And I also read in the book of in the in the book of uh, Revelation. I will give you the verses. When Jesus comes back to deal with the Antichrist, the false prophet, the dragon, and the beast. He comes in a white horse. With his with his vesture. Which, which, which was white but full of blood. And then his armies, his armies is in Bizarre. Yes, his armies were following him. They were dressed in white. But Jesus was dressed in white. His white was full of blood. But his, arm, his armies were clean white. What does that tell you? It tells you we will we will we will we will walk and attack with Jesus. But we will not be fighting. It is Christ who is going to be fighting. We will only be sheer leaders. Do you, do you understand that? Our white clothing will be as white as snow. But he will be full of blood everywhere. Because he will be killing his enemies. I just love my God. Eh? I just love my God. No matter what the world can say, I know what's going to happen in the end. My Emmanuel is going to be the victor. He is the conqueror. He is the king of kings. He is the lord of lords. No matter what the devil tries now, I will not go back. I will move forward. No matter how painful it is, because I know the spirit of the antichrist, the spirit of the dragon, the spirit of the beast will end up in hell, they will die. We shall reign with Christ our Lord. The Lord is Almighty. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The Creator of the heavens. He was there before the foundations of the earth. He shall be there when everything else is gone. The cannot stand. For He is the conqueror. The Lord God Almighty. Father, we thank you and we worship you. We humble ourselves before thee. For you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. No matter what the devil tries, no matter what he says, we shall hold on to your word. We shall hold on to your name. We shall believe you, O oh Lord. No matter it's dark, no matter we walk in this valley of the shadow of death, 
but we know you are with us the devil can never touch us oh holy spirit we thank you see a bonga kulukulu wetu see a bonga baba una manja thank you holy spirit nya bonga baba you are the king of kings bazalwan maybe maybe xas amen <laughs> hallelujah I say Gusasa never be afraid of the devil. Sabi. Don't be afraid. Do you hear me, brethren? Never, never be afraid of the devil. Thank you for being here, my God. May you strengthen you. The little faith that you have. He is able to lift up a mantle and throw it to Just believe in the faith that you have. Do not, do not try, do not be afraid. For the Lord God is on your side. Tomorrow we will talk about the white horse. May the Lord bless you. Wow, you see. That's what we are talking about when the man of God explained to us and telling us into details and making the word of the word of the Lord to be alive. Mm. I say apocalyptic message. Amen. Yeah, in general. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So Siabuakulu, it's been nice spending time with you. Yeah, by the time we, this is an end where we talk about the end times. I know you will be rooted and unshakable, understanding exactly who you are and why you are here on earth and what you are going to do in terms of responding in the right way. So, if you want to plant a seed and you are touched by this message and by this ministry, Yekar TV, Swanem Soma Ministries, you can uh, give a seed my details or abonella per screen and i know that when you give it comes back to you it's law never to be opposed by anything but what is important is that you stand uh, worthy to receive not giving in a position but also for the honor of god and as a sign of saying thank you, I am blessed by this ministry, and I just want to say thank you. And as you give, I'm just giving you a nugget. You would, as you give, just say thank you that I have the ability to bless this ministry. And when you say that giving and you are rejoicing, when you sit, lose your hand, the harvest is going to be multiplied on your behalf. So may the, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We're going to see you tomorrow. Amen. As you give. Just imagine every day, Monday to Friday, sometimes on Saturday, we are giving you the good news of Jesus Christ, empowering you. Mm. You're going to be blessed. Amen. See you tomorrow. Tell your friends and your loved ones to watch this space. Love you. Love you too. Love you. Yeah.